Hi everyone, so I am so excited today to do an update to my project, my project Panoply. Um, it is a game that I created that's based on the game Monopoly, uh, at least just the board anyways, but basically you use the board to get prompts. Uh, there's challenge wheels, there's random use wheels, there's rolling dice, uh, all the fun things that at least I enjoy from the game and the randomness of it all and the chances of it all. I mean, there's no winning if that was why you like the game, but um, I just like moving around the board and just seeing what I get and I hope to bring that into this Project Pen game. So if you haven't seen my introduction already, I would really encourage you to do so. Um, uploaded it about a month ago at the end of August, so go ahead, I'll try to leave a link below, um, but also go ahead and go into my channel and check that out. Um, basically I try to explain all the rules, I set up a whole website um, that I ha will also link for you below, and um, I'm just really excited about it. I think it came together really well, I've gotten some really, really great response to it. Thank you so much to everybody who watched my intro video. and. And also was really excited about it really really appreciate your support um, got great response here on YouTube as well as on Instagram as well as on reddit so uh, really really grateful for everybody who is involved and hope that you had fun um, you know looking at the website and maybe rolling your own theoretical or real because <laughs> I played with the website quite a bit when I started to I was like ooh, like what would I get if I rolled this um, so have fun with it um, but hopefully whenever you are ready to join me if you want to join me um, um, you can there's no start date there's no end date right now um, there's no specific upload date or even upload time um, I wanted it to be just something fun that you look forward to in your project panning journey whether it is one of your first projects or whether you're a seasoned panner with too many projects that you um, that you can get involved whenever you want to whenever you have the time um, but I am so excited with how it is going so far and um, I have a nice update, up, not upgrade by any means, but just something different for you guys is that I created a physical version of it. Doesn't it look like just like a third grade like art project? Because <laughs> it totally does to me. But um, yeah, I just, there's no, I don't have a Cricut, I don't have anything fancy, just some Sharpies I used. Um, I did have like this whiteboard sticky thing. I don't know if I have any more left over here, but um, basically it's just like a roll of whiteboard stuff that I put over a um, cork board actually, and it worked out really well. Uh, so it looks like a whiteboard, but it actually has cork board underneath, which I guess a lot of whiteboards do. Um, I wish it was magnetic. I would have like made it a more magnetic thing. This is sticking on with just some tape here. <laughs> some push pins, as you can see here for the wheels. And then um, I don't have any dice. So I will actually be asking my phone, my watch to help me with uh, using um, my Google Assistant on there rather than, you know, saying the words that would, if you have a Google Home, it would prompt it. I do not want to do that on, over a video. So I will just try to trigger that on my phone and do it that way um or sorry I'm watching do that way I'm filming on my phone so it doesn't make any sense but um but yeah I'm excited to use this when it's time but let me give you an update in terms of what I was working on so during my introduction I said that I would use my concealer 25 times or at least that's what I rolled for um and if you're new let me walk you through it a little bit Project Panoply is a um, five item project pan game where you basically roll two dice and you move around like a regular Monopoly game would. Um, each space has a prompt. Let me see if I can show you guys. You can kind of read there. Not that you can read this very clearly, the version online. This, I'm, I promise this is the same as the version online. Um, the version online is much more legible, so <laughs> use that one. Um, but there's some, these are like challenge wheels that you would spin. Um, this one's my challenge wheel down here. You would kind of spin it for either an activity or a challenge. Um, and then I also built in a random use wheel, which you can use um, if you want. It's optional. If you're someone who's like, I can only use products 10 times each and then I'm done, then do that. But if you are like me and indecisive and don't want to decide for myself, then use the random use wheel. Uh, there's ranges from five uses to 30 uses, has choose your own use. So still some flexibility there. Um, and the products here, or some of them are actual like products products and then some of them are just like most used product or uh, move seven spaces and then um you know if you hit the finish it jail one if you're just passing through then you can just pass through you can just keep rolling um 
<clears throat> if you actually land on this spot, this corner down here that says, oh no, you broke your no buy, then you would have to go to finish a jail and choose a product to finish. Um, it can be a short-term finish or a long-term finish, your, your choice. Um, and then if you hit this corner that just says just browsing, then uh, you would just roll again. And that's how you go around the board. Um, so yeah, this is very lovingly put together, not very professionally, but you know what? I wanted a physical version of it and uh, that's what I did for myself. So hope that makes sense. If you need any clarifications, please check out my website. I did my best to um, answer as many questions as I could through the FAQ in there. And then um, I did get a few additional questions that I want to add, up, add in there as well. So I'll try to update that as I go. Um, and yeah, um, my wheels here are a little bit different than the ones online. I couldn't quite finesse my skills to divide up these exactly the way I put them on the website. So the ones on the website, you can use those. These ones are pretty similar, um, at least all the prompts, I think, in the challenge wheel, maybe except except for one of the activity prompts um, isn't on there yet and kind of just like to see if I like it or not. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I did say in my last video that this, um, the wheels might be changing kind of like on a either quarterly or um, on a, kind of a trimester type schedule, not really sure yet. The board itself, um, I actually don't know yet. I'm thinking either annually, if every if a lot of people like this project, um, or even, I don't know if seasonally might be too often. I'll need to think about it a little bit because I only just made my first version about a month ago. So uh, really proud of that. I want that to stay there for now. So, but if you have any suggestions uh, or some fun things that you would like to see, let me know. I'd be happy to at least consider. So anyways, let me give you updates to my last time. Last time I first landed on um, a concealer first and then um, I chose my concealer palette <coughs> right here, which um, I challenged myself to use it 25 times. I used it. It's It looks like there's use, of course. I uh, just haven't hit pan on anything yet. It seems close on some of these, right? So I still have um, five more uses to go, actually, so I'm going to keep this in the project for now. Um, the next one is to use my Franken bronzer, which, oh man, I had the palette. Do I have the palette right now? Oh, yes, I do. It was in this palette, and I don't think I even have it to, I might be able to dig it out for you guys. Ooh. It was in my empties because I ended up, if you haven't seen my short on it, um, oh, I hear it, I hear it, it's all the way down here on the bottom. Um, I ended up using up um, a lot of it in that 10 uses and then ended up thinking that it was ready for a Franken. So I ended up going ahead and, it's almost here, I got it, got it, got it. I emptied it out, Frankened it into another pan and um, now it's, it's gone. So I would say that's a huge success. Um, my next one was a uh, my Franken powder, which let me see where I put it. I just was just holding it just a little bit ago. Did I put it away without telling myself? That would be typical. Let me see here. I don't think it's in this bag. Okay, that's kind of awkward because uh, I usually keep everything like in this spot here. So <laughs> that is really weird. Um, oh, you know what? I probably popped it in here by accident. Okay, I did not. I thought I had everything out. Oh, here it is. It's literally right in front of me. Oh my goodness. Uh, this is my Franken powder. Um, it was actually in a very similar case. Um, I think I used it 20 times and then I finished that one and it was starting to like crack on me. So I just went ahead and disposed of that and I had backups of this type of container. So I made myself a new Franken powder and uh, started using this one. So I would say for the sake of this project, I completed that prompt as well. The next prompt I got was colorful eyeshadow and I challenged myself to use this dark purple in this palette here. Um, not many people would call this colorful, but to me it's color, uh, which I don't typically use. So I'm gonna challenge myself to use it 15 times, which I did, and I continue to actually use it today. So very, very proud of that. Um, and then the last one was my lip palette and I challenged myself to use it 20 times. And um, last time you saw it, I had kind of like a bright pink shade I was trying to use up. Now it looks completely different because I actually ended up finishing that bright pink shade and then now have pushed another product in there already. So also great success with that one. Um, so only keeping one product in and we'll get to roll four times. So let me pull up my um, handy assistant here. <clears throat> See if she'll respond to me. Uh, roll a number between one and 12.
I gave you number 12. Thanks. All right. So um, since the last, sorry, I just moved you slightly. Move you back. Um, since the last prompt that I got was lip, uh, lipstick, I believe, um, I'm going to move this 12 times. So I'm actually using a little mini, I have a little mini lip gloss here that I pretty much used up and I thought it fit perfectly on the board. It's a little big, but uh, you know, for the sake of it being makeup related, I thought it would be cute. So let's start with lipstick. We're going at 12 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're going to primer. Okay. Ooh, primer. What am I using right now? I already have my Tatcha primer in a project, which I could... I'm not one to be like mutually exclusive with my projects, so I am like totally okay with just, just going ahead and using um using those but let me see i'm kind of between two actually right now i have two other primers in my collection um between this one or that one which one do i want more use on right now i think i'm going to try this one actually this is a danessa myricks one and i haven't even opened it oh i awkwardly hold the board in my hand um yeah i haven't even touched it yet it looks completely shiny and brand new um and this is like her universal one uh let's see what the actual name of it is the Universal Yummy Skin, I actually don't even know the full name of it on here, but I think it's like the balm one that um, supposedly I think has upsolite so that it can be blurry. Oh, here we go. The Blurring Balm Powder for face and eyes. And like you can basically mix this with other products to kind of like thin it out a bit, but also keep it mattifying and blurry and stuff like that. So really interested in this. Let's see how many uses I get. I almost am a little afraid to because I don't know. I feel like that's not a product. I feel like that's more of a product that I would just want to try. So this is my random use wheel right here. Let me hold it out of the way. I have to do this thing with the push pin that I have to like lift it up a bit and then spin it. Let's see if I can do it. All right, first time. Here goes nothing. Okay, that worked pretty well. Let's see where it landed. 15 uses. Okay, I think that's pretty good for a product like that. Um, I'm ready to use it 15 times. I don't know if I could do more than that, to be honest. <laughs> So, um, all right, got my pen and paper, so let me, and then let's see here, I got primer, and 15 times, okay, so let's ask my watch to roll again, always a little bit tricky here, roll a number between 1 and 12. Five. All right, let's see. All right, so we were here at primer, and let's go five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, a blush. A blush. We are at blush. Um, what am I using as a blush right now? Oh, also another Den Danessa Myricks one. This is the, her, is it rosé? Yeah, rosé and brunch that came in the bold and blushing kit. Um, and this thing is potent. I've been, I don't know if I'm really trying to hit pan, but I want to like just keep using it and figuring it out. Um, cause it is really, really potent, like much more than I ever thought. So, um, I think I have a swatch of it here. It's right here. I was just filming another video talking about it. So, um, let's see how many uses I should use it for. I don't want really a big number, but honestly, I'm okay with it too. Cause I actually use it a lot for underpainting and, um, it's been good for that. Okay. Let's see if I can do a good spin. That's pretty good. Let's see. Choose your use. Okay, that's awesome. Um, let's see. I'm not bringing this on a trip to on a trip with me. On a trip with me. On wait, I don't know how to how to say this. I'm not bringing this with me on a trip. I think both of them made sense, right? <laughs> um, I'm not bringing that blush with me on a trip, so I'm gonna try to do it a little bit less. I think. I think 15 is still a good number, especially before my next update. So let's do that. <clears throat> Rosé and the brunch times 15. Sorry, I'm still recovering from a cold, so that's why I'll be like putting my throat. All right, let's get a, another roll here. Roll a number between 1 and 12. 12 again. I don't, I don't think it's that random. Whatever. Whatever they're using for randomization isn't working here. The ran the randomization seed is is not that random, I think. <laughs> okay. Uh oh, I'm not I'm not spinning this. Let me move this 12 times. Okay, so that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, mascara. 
Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Um, right now, I am between one tubing mascara and one waterproof mascara. Um, right now, I keep my little tubing mascara in here. I just got this little figurine today. It's a little seal, and it perfectly fits, although it's upside down, perfectly fits my mascara. The other way it doesn't work, in case you're wondering. That's why it's upside down. So, um, oh, look at that. It's so satisfying the way it, like, settles in there. Do you see that? Maybe it's just from my end. Anyways, um... I will spin to see how many times I'll use this. I think this might be the only mascara I'm bringing with me on my trip. So, um, that we'll see how that goes. I'm like, I'm, I've been basically like a waterproof mascara only user all this time. So it's really nerve wracking to only be using a tubing mascara, but I guess if I really need a ma new waterproof mascara, I'll just pick one up because I don't like the current waterproof mascara I'm using right now, but let's get a random use on this one. The spin is so satisfying. Another 15 uses, or it's actually right in between. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's right in between choose your use and 15. Okay, I'm gonna count that as a re-spin uh, because I feel like there's something going on here because I feel like I landed between the two just recently. Okay, I will do a different, maybe I just shouldn't be as forceful. Maybe, maybe just like the force I'm spinning this is the same for everything. Um, let me do it just a little bit lighter. Okay, still 15 uses. Hmm. I am skeptical, but I will go with it. Maybe, maybe it's telling me something. I don't know. <laughs> um, now I can't find the pen that I was just using to write down my stuff. Okay, I will use this one for now. Uh, so I am doing a mascara. The tubing one for 15 uses. <clears throat> and then I will need to roll again. Sorry, this process is a lot slower than I thought it would be. Hopefully you're willing to stick around. Um, roll a number between 1 and 12. Okay, 10. Thank you. So if that is 10, then that should bring us to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Can you see I see it? 8, 9, 10. That is a lip liner. Oh, goodness. I want two lip liners in my collection. Let me see if I have both of them here. I have one. Yes, I do. Okay. So I have this one from Rare Beauty, which I think I can swatch. That darker one there. And then um, this is probably my favorite one actually is from e.l.f. I don't think they even make this one anymore. This one's just called Neutral Pink or something like that. Mm, soft Pink. That's the one right above there. And this is almost like my lips are better. Um, I haven't used this one in a long time, so I'm going to use the e.l.f. one. I feel like as we get further into fall, I'll really like the Rare Beauty one, so I'll keep that one for that. Um, okay, usage wheel, you better do your thing. It could also be very well that I did not center the pin or that I wrote these kind of lopsided, so it did, even though it looks like it's in the middle, it might not actually be the middle. Uh, so it might actually be a white thing, which is unfortunate, but we're going to go with it, and let's see if I can spin this in a way where it might land somewhere different. If it's not, then I might remake the wheel for next time. Okay, I think it's probably a weight thing because it landed around the same place again. Um, this time it landed on 15 uses again. It's closer. It's the five uses one I haven't done yet. So can I can I just smidge this and like give myself the five? You, t you can tell me what you think, but for now I'm going to go with the five just because... Uh, I think I need to make, remake that wheel and make it more centered. Uh, so that's really my fault um, more than anything else. Once I can get that down, I can try again. So that this one will be for a lip liner. And um, we're going to use it five times. Okay. So I think that's five products for me. Um... I still haven't gone the challenge wheel, which is kind of disappointing. I really like some of my prompts that I have on there. Um, so next time you see this, hopefully I'll remake the, the, the random use wheel here. I'll try it again a few more times. I don't know if it's just the way I'm holding the board or the way that I'm like just doing it here. Um, oh, this time around it kind of works. Maybe I just use my other hand. Yeah, I feel like it's a little different now. Okay, it's it's functional. I think I just need to learn how to use it. Maybe that's what it is. It's just user error, as with many things in life. So um, that's my Project Panoply for this month. I am, uh, one, very proud of this board. Um, 
it's not all that fancy, but it's fun. It's fun. And I think that's the whole point of this game is that it's fun. Um, I love doing crafts like this too. So this was especially fun. And um, I'm looking forward to your update or your intro uh, whenever you want to get started or whenever you're ready to update. Um, I just love seeing everybody's reactions to the game and um, even just some of your reactions to like what you got and where you rolled and just I've heard of someone who just kept getting, getting 10 after 10 after 10 out of 10 and just getting so frustrated by by what um, the the dice was giving them and I think that's like part of the fun is just seeing where the randomness takes you and just how you react to it like I think that's just so much fun to me so um so I hope you enjoyed my update of Project Panoply and um, if you have any questions let me know. Um, please go visit the website and check it out and see if um, this could be a project that you'd enjoy. Um, or just even, you know, I welcome you just to play around with it and just to kind of see what you could even theoretically get uh, while you're playing the game and going around the board, even if you're not ready to like really commit to the game. Um, that's totally fine. So anyhow, I uh, am going to leave you there. <laughs> getting a little rambly. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much again for supporting this game. I really hope that uh, you'll continue to enjoy at least the updates I have to offer you if not join in for yourself. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.